Today we're going to take a cheap airsoft helmet and turn it into a functional night vision mountable range helmet. So we have some nice components to put into our cheap airsoft helmet. First off, we have a Team Wendy suspension. We have some 4D Deluxe padding. We're going to upgrade our Walker Razor earmuffs uh, with, with some nice ear gel ear pads. And finally, some 3M uh, arc rail adapters. We only need three basic tools. Uh, that's going to be a flathead screwdriver, a some kind of razor blade or some scissors. Razor blade I thought was handier. And then some pliers. I happen to have some wire cutters here, but some pliers. To start off, we're going to have to remove the four uh, existing bolts and the hold in the suspension. There are two in the rear and two in the front right here. So you can see the original suspension is pretty cheap and not that comfortable for long term. The padding you can see is just cheap, cheap foam. And we're going to also remove all this padding and put in that nice 4D foam. And here we have an empty shell. So for the Team Wendy suspension, it came with its own hardware actually, different from the T-style nuts that originally came with the helmet. It's going to orient like this. It's almost like an arrow pointing up into the helmet, like this way. So that means these will screw into the back right here back to and according to this I'm gonna go with the large sizing then these should reach up across to the front and tie into the chin strap like so you fold these over Place this one through. What is that? The left side, left side of the chin strap. And fold this over. The original airsoft helmet came with a bunch of these velcro stickies so i want to try to add some to any gaps to help hold the velcro in these already feel much softer you can feel how much they give and see how much they give in comparison to this cheap foam that originally came with the helmet
Let's also give it a test fit. I'm gonna throw two more in towards the temple area here. So the two temple pads made a big difference, actually helped fill up some more uh, empty space. Um, I still want to adjust the straps here a little bit more, uh, but otherwise you got a pretty nice snug and comfy fit without rattling around too much. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the suspension of the padding so far. There's just one single pad left remaining. I'll figure out where if that's even needed, but it's pretty good as is. So moving on with some progress, uh, we're going to put some uh, Ear Pro to this. So on the frugal side, we're using these uh, Walker Razor Slims uh, to mount to the helmet. So the padding on these are pretty stiff, and we got these cheap gel ear pads off of Amazon. I'm unaffiliated to any of these, not sponsored or anything like that, but uh, this is all self-purchased. But you see these gel pads are much softer, nicer, but have much more give uh, than these original muffs. So that should give you some longer, um, some longer time, longevity on the ear muffs without feeling your, like your head's uh, being squished in. So, I lied about another tool. You need maybe one more tool. You need a, a penny, for example. So if you just take these walker ear, ear muffs and you were to bend these back, you see how there's a little gap. There's a little slot right behind the, the mounting point here. You want to get your penny wedged up underneath the mounting point and these ear pads should pop right off. Boom. So then these ear pads, you see there's an angled side here on the bottom and then it's round on top. If you get the specific ones for the razors, they should all, they should be able to snap right in. So for example, you should hear and feel these pop snap right in. Same thing for the other side. Looking for that little gap. Very stiff, very uncomfortable. multiple brands out there but these happen to be the ones I got they're about $14 all right and that does it for the ear pads so to be able to have these helmet mountable I've already installed them, but I took them right back off so that I could demo it on video. But basically, the cable wire connecting both sides runs up through the, uh, the headband here. Um, there's nothing else to it. If you have a sharp razor blade, you should be able to run, uh, be very mindful of where the cable is. You can feel around, you can feel like a, a ridge right here. But what I did was I ran a razor blade across from one side to the other, being careful not to hit the uh, the wire. And then that should open up a channel. You should be able to just lift the wire out. And then to take them out of these um, arm connectors, you just simply pop them out of the uh, out of their sockets. 
there's just a little wire nub on the end that keeps them in. And then our last mod is Peltor Arc Rail Adapters. These original ones, you should be able to just uh, pull these arms right off. These are for specifically for the uh, the 3M Peltor earmuffs, but you pull these right off and they should fit the Walker razors. Pull these off. Do the same thing over here. Pull these off. Here's where you need the uh, needle nose pliers. I, again, these, I have these some uh, wire cutters here, but you can see I've already attempted to install these, but they, they originally came straight and they had a kind of a narrow, narrower taper to them. You want to take these and just bend them outwards just a little bit. So they used to be used to be inwards like that. So I bent them a good what 15 degrees. And what that does is when you put them into the walker razors, they will not slip off nearly as easily because if they're straight in, they just they would have just slid right out of there. Splaying them out, they they stay more uh, they have more retention. Actually, we might, we might want to route these cables uh, through the arms a little bit later. Off camera, I tried mounting them and routing the cable um, underneath the helmet through this channel and out the other side. However, when you mount, when you had these rails here, it would stretch the cable when you, when you swung them back, it would stretch the cable real taut. There's not enough slack here. So it stretched the cable taut. It still worked, but the cable came up from the, the ceiling of the helmet here. It came up a little bit. So um, I'm going to try to route. I'm going to mount the Peltor uh, arc rails here, and then I'm going to mount. I'm to route the cable on the outside of the helmet here, and then put a helmet cover on there. So manage the cable better. So one trick I did find uh, I'm going to mount the power on the right hand side. I'm right handed. So one thing I did notice that mounting from the front, these just simply slide on. I, I had the a heck of a time trying to mount it from the front. So I'm going to try to slide it from the rear and let's see if that works. Let's swing these back. So you see the dovetail. This dovetail mounts to this dovetail. See how much tension there is on this cable line here? I think I'm gonna reroute it so this is under. So let's take this arm off. And route that underneath. Ah, see, it gives a little bit more slack. This one underneath too. There. Now this has a little bit more slack. Nice put a cover on there. And you should have enough to. So these, the way these work is they have these two two positions. If you
press in, it should click down and apply pressure uh, and seal your ears. So, and we see that there's a good amount of, or enough slack in the line here. And if you wanted to take your hearing protection off, you just pop them back out. Nice positive click from the real 3M rails. You sweep these back. And you got some nice, uh, nice upgrades to a previously cheap airsoft helmet. So I threw in a helmet cover uh, off camera. I didn't think it was all that interesting or sexy. You just basically slapped it on, velcroed it on. Uh, but a couple final notes and uh, musings. So, uh, is this as good as uh, as the real thing? Uh, either Team Wendy or Ops Opcore helmet. Yes, two hundred seventy nine dollars. Uh, Team Team Wendy one is three hundred eighty dollars. We added some nice modification, and we're still coming under the Team Wendy price. Is it as good? Probably not. But I think we're still generally in the same ballpark. In a couple musings, this shroud for the G twenty four mount, um, it's suspect i think it's good enough to hold and to mount i have some some uh some insurance here to make sure that nothing if it does fail me it's gonna hang on and then for the rail mounts they seemed uh kind of cheap you can replace the shroud uh with something anywhere between i think i've seen options for anywhere between 50 and 80 dollars depending on what brand um i know you can also replace the rails um, but you know, the, it's obviously not as good as the, the real stuff, but it's probably, it's, it's close. But again, I was just hoping to inspire you guys to fiddle around and play with your own budget style helmet to see what you like. There's lots of questions out there. I've seen, uh, forums, people asking, you know, how can I, um, get in at a budget price? And I think this is one possible, uh, budget or corner you can cut, which would, maybe provide some more funding uh, or allowance for some other uh, night vision uh, accessories like uh, your infrared lasers and your infrared illuminators. So again, hope to hope uh, you guys enjoyed and hope uh, inspired you guys to fiddle around. Thanks for watching guys.